everybody. Um, this is a global launch, so I know that people are joining us from right across the world, and, and a big, big welcome to you all. Um, we're going to launch our wallpaper and colour of the year for 2021, and we're also going to share with you our design and colour trends. Um, it, it's been a, a really challenging uh, year, hasn't it, 2020? None of us would have expected to be faced with the challenges that we have been. Um, I don't know about you, but I have been so impressed with the Graham and Brown colleagues and the way that they've adapted our business to keep it going uh, through, this, through this very uh, difficult time. And this is just the latest example of it. We'd normally be doing this presentation face to face, but this year we're doing it virtually and how exciting it is to be able to do that, to do a global launch. Um, and I suppose, you know, if Harold and Henry, the founders of the business, uh, were looking down on us, they would recognise that uh, the innovation and the collaboration that runs through this business that they started is what is, what is helping us adapt in very challenging circumstances. And, um, and, and we're going into a very special year because next year is our 75th uh, anniversary. Uh, the company was founded in 1946, and we're going to celebrate that through continuing our design and colour innovation, as you're going to see, our commitment to sustainable manufacturing, and of course our commitment to our local community in terms of our charitable giving. Um, and we're also going to celebrate with all of our colleagues from around the world if we get a chance to all be in the same place. So, 75 years old, and one of the advantages of of having so much experience is that our design team has been able to reach into our um, archive, uh, which is an incredible resource of over 30,000 designs. And they've reached in there and they've brought to you uh, for this, for this uh, launch, our wallpaper, our color, and our wall mural of the year for next year. So I'm gonna hand over now to Abby in our design studio. So the team there, can take you through the trends and share with you our colour and wallpaper and mural of the year. Thanks, Andrew. I'm here in the studio with Paula. Hi. Hi, Abby. You okay. I'm fine, thank Good. you. Good. What are we talking about today then? All right, so we've got our 2021 trends. Brilliant. Uh, and we've got five of these trends. Okay. Uh, we thought we'd have a look at um, these trends about 10 months ago. Yeah. And uh, because we've had a strange year, we thought we'd reevaluate them before we. we showed them to everybody um, and it was good to just have a look at what was happening 75 years ago when we first, when we first started, started yeah. and how people forecasted things yes. uh, so we've flying got some, cars oh, all yeah. Sorts. Yeah. yeah we've got some really cool and weird imagery up there yeah, about lovely. what what people predicted the future would look like um, so it's quite quite good to start off with this kind of forecast because we are forecasting our our 20 to 21 trends. Yep. So we had to look through the decades, like the 40s, 50s, some of the really odd little things that people <laughs> yeah. thought was weird with science. And um, it's interesting that science is really evolving and, and helping us through this strange mm. time. So science is really uh, influencing how we look at different furniture with different mirror effects and very sleek you know, really and clinical, yeah. clean lines. Yeah, so we're going to see quite a lot of that influence uh, things for us. Lots of mirror effects, lots of ombres, and yeah. that kind of iridescent kind of feel. Yeah, it feels on. a bit 80s, this area of the board. That area is very 80s, mm. almost kind of Blade Runner-esque. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I really a little like bit, it. Uh, kind of neon as well, mm. with the ultraviolet purples that are coming That's through. That's been really uh, trendy with, in fashion this year, hasn't it? It has. Purple and lilacs and, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So we're seeing lots of pixelated things come through with this one. And it's really quite nice to, to think what would what would it be like in 75 years hence, mm. you know, how would that look? So it's given us our designers lots of food for thought as yeah, this one. So yeah, so it's quite nice to delve into the past every now and again. Brilliant. So the second trend we have is recharge, and this is all about taking stock, taking time out. Uh, Very relevant at the moment. Oh yeah. I mean it's all about being kind, looking after yourself, you know, people like like that kind of thing there, where we're really looking at nature to help us uh, look look after ourselves, yeah. that kind of thing. Being kind to, to ourselves. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
Um, we also need kind of the haptic senses going on there. So lots of tactile uh, influences coming through, all that kind of thing. Not just, not just visual. No, every, every kind of sense is okay. being, being played with with this one. And we're also noticing that our rooms need to be more multifunctional. So we're looking at biomimicry, which will help us. So we're looking at the cell-like structures of things where they're really, really strong, but they're also quite open as well. Mm. So our multifunctional rooms will have to kind of change from being a kitchen mm. to uh, you know, an, office. an office or a playroom, yeah. or that kind of thing. So these kind of uh, shelves or stacking things will really help us to expand or contract kind of concertina in and out. So yeah. really we've got some kind out. of softer softer lines in the furniture rather than the clean lines of the previous trend. What, what's that about? Well spotted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, and people want to reconnect with humans. Yes. We love a human. Yeah. Uh, so it's them. <laughs> we do. <laughs> and it's all that kind of roundedness. And like I was saying, it's a very much a cocooning kind mm. of trend is this one. So it's almost as though the, the furniture is giving you a nice big hug. This all feels kind of comfort. It Lead. is. It is. Right. Particularly with the colours, they're a little bit chalky. Yeah. And they're very calming and yeah. comforting, which is really nice. Lovely. So a little bit of a move on is our authentic trend. Mm -hmm. So again, we're slowing down. We're taking a slower pace with things. Uh, We've been forced to. We have. <laughs> and uh, time, we always said, was such a massive thing. One thing that was like the most precious thing anybody would say. If you asked anybody on the street, what was the one thing you wished you had more of? Time. Apart from money, it was time. time. I, I wouldn't mind both. <laughs> yeah. So, but we've been given that opportunity now. And before the whole COVID thing started, we kind of looked at how people were kind of reconnecting with their families, mm -hmm. reconnecting with nature. So you already saw that starting to happen anyway? We did. Okay. Um, we kind of saw kind of the, the supper club thing come in. Yeah. But unfortunately, that's been put on hold. But once we get out of this we'll mm -hmm. see people wanting to show off their their new skills of being yeah. able to bake pies bake bread yeah we've got our own chickens have a fresh egg that yeah. kind of thing you know <laughs> here's an egg <laughs> yeah. we've grown our own carrots we yeah. that kind of thing so we, it's a little bit of a showy off thing but in a really paired back way is this so we're really reconnecting with nature there's a bit of a 70s vibe here as well isn't there there is we've got all this whole sign of 70s look with the florals but they've got a little bit of a vintage edge, edge going on so a little bit of broadway anglais in there uh, flexed knits corduroys mm. so not really overtly 70s also with the chains and the rainbows and that kind of hoops look which we kind of saw come through at the beginning of the last season mm -hmm. we're seeing this really emerge and who knew that the rainbow would be a, well, a massive, it's, massive it's probably thing. 2020's icon, isn't it? Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Brilliant. So it's, the colours for this are really nice and rich as well. They're yeah. very comforting. Earth tones. Very much so, yeah. So I really like that trend. And what is this one? Impulse. Now, impulse is completely different. Okay. Impulse is very show off, mm -hmm. you know. Said you wanted to show off your perhaps baking skills with this. This is showing off like, look what I can get kind of skills, you know. <laughs> yeah. More of the... A bit more in your face, it feels. Yes, it is. It is very much showtime. So um, perhaps we can't travel as much as we wanted to. Yeah. But when we can, we might just go for that really one-hit wonder kind of yeah. travel, go on the Orient Express. And we're taking influences from that kind of look. So we've got all the, you know, the fabulous arches, the decadent colours coming through, the boutique hotels that have those beautiful floral displays. They're everywhere, aren't they? The flower walls yes. are gorgeous. So it's really decadent to have that in your own home. Mm. So, you know, when you're on your Zoom meeting and you've got a fantastic floral thing behind you, yeah, how brilliant. cool would that be? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we're also seeing some kind of Tudor-esque kind of uh, panelling come through here. A little bit oriental influence is not on there as well really detailed it isn't is it? yeah the attention to detail is really key for this okay so the beading the trims even the handles on things are really quite intricate and whereas authentic was kind of make your own kind of rework things mm -hmm. impulse is investing in craftsmanship yeah so, you know, you can afford to buy something that's beautifully bespoke piece. So well, that, people have more, more disposable money at the moment, don't they? Because they're not travelling and they're channeling that into, into their living spaces where they're spending all of their time, aren't they? Yes, yeah. So it's just a really nice 
really nice, rich and ornate thing. And the colours are super rich and ornate with yeah. the lovely deep purples and berry colours and that jade green coming through as well. Like jewel, jewel influenced tones. Yes, yeah, fabulous. Very rich and velvety. Yes. Brilliant. So our last trend is Shapeshifter. This is my favourite trend. Absolutely love this because we are evolving mm -hmm. as time is going through. We're, I mean, humans are always evolving. And Shapeshifter really takes this on. So it's kind of um, how you can be a chameleon and adapt to yeah. uh, your new surroundings. Um, we've also got some kind of glitchy elements coming through there, kind of a bit, you know, not quite sure what's happening. Um, hopefully we won't get any glitches today. No, that'd be, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. so it, almost a little bit um, hallucinogenic with kind of things going on there. So you're not quite sure what you're seeing. Is it right? Is it wrong? Bit of a trick of, on the eye. Yeah, Trump loyal effect. And we're also seeing that the divine elements of nature and geometry mixed with things like florals and things like that. So different pattern fills with, with the geometry, which is really quite cool. So it's shifting all that shape which I think is, is fabulous. I like that because you've got the kind of order and balance that geome geometrics bring in quite a chaotic world, but then we're kind of moving on from that hopefully now and we can go into something a little bit more exciting, the next phase, and this kind of encompasses that, doesn't it, by melding two things together. Yes, that's exactly right, you've, got, you've nailed it. And I just love all that juxtaposition of things and that kind of uh, not quite sure of what things are. Um, but needing a double take almost. Yes, yeah, perfect. Brilliant. So those are our five trends. Great, thank you Paula, that's really insightful. And now we're going to go back to you Andrew. Thank you Abby for giving us that incredible insight into our new designs and colours for the season 2021 and also um, you know for setting us up so beautifully for what's next and it's the bit that we've all been waiting for which is to reveal uh, the wallpaper and colour of the year for next season. So how exciting we've announced our wallpaper and colour of the year, timepiece and epoch. Yes. yes, super nice. Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. So how, um, could you tell me a little bit about the development process, the, the, how we choose the wallpaper of the year? Yeah, well, as you can imagine, it's rigorous and, you know, the whole design team puts their heads together mm -hmm. um, and we, we just forage for the best design yeah. of the time. So as it's our 75th next year, obviously we, we thought it's better to delve into the archive and go down memory lane and just find some beautiful artworks. And that's just what we did. Um, in fact, it's three artworks. Three. Yeah, all ah. collaborating together to right. make timepiece. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So can you talk me through the, th the three that, that they are? Yeah, so we've got um, two floral designs. Okay. 
to a point where they were so gorgeous, both of them, we couldn't pick between, so we used both. And that's both. why it's two, okay. And then we have um, like a beautiful geometric that you see sort of waving in and out of the florals. Yeah. yeah. So that fits really quite nicely in with the trends we were talking about earlier, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, so the shapeshifter trend is perfect for this. Um, in the fact that you've got the geometrics mm -hmm. and then you've got the florals intertwined with them. And the florals have come from the impulse trends, so the real showy florals that we've seen um, are just so beautiful to mix up and have this kind of juxtaposition of the of the two kind of looks. Oh, great. And we got other colourways other than this one. Yeah, we've got two other colourways. So we've got um, Midnight, which is a lovely navy tone with like hues of yellow coming through. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then we've got Moonstone, which is a bit anthracite with um, like really nice taupe coming through it. Right, yeah. Brill. And we um, at Graham and Brown like to recommend four perfectly partnered paints, don't we, for each wallpaper. Yes. So could you just talk me through the paints that go with the amethyst um, version of timepiece, please? So first off, we've got Colour of the Year, mm -hmm. which is behind us there. So that's Epoch. Uh, and then we've got Whale Tail, which is a really nice, subtle teal colour. Yeah. And then Fondue, which is a really, really usable neutral taupe. And then we have Spice Mulberry, which is just uh, like Epoch, but a little bit, little bit more toned down. A bit muted. Yeah, a bit more muted. So I think one of the biggest questions um, I would have is how would you use it in the homes? So how would you style it? It's really bold, it's really confident, isn't it, as a wallpaper? So how would, Paul, how would you use it? Well, I think you can pick lots of things out of this uh, wallpaper of the year. Um, and I just think you can really team it up with lots of different types of colour. But I think it would be nice to use it kind of monochromatically. So I love purple. So in case you didn't know, um, you can really use the different tones. So you can use the amethyst and the other one that Jodie mentioned, which was... Spice, spice like that. <laughs> Thank you. Spice so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one. So we can use those kind of tonal colours and really create it, make it more a little bit calm yeah. and, and easy on the eye. So I'd, I'd really like to use that. I have a feeling that Jodie would do the opposite of that. I would, I would do the opposite. <laughs> so I really love using the mash of colours. So like teal, you know, bringing in the spice mulberry as well. So using all the colours together. But I think what's really important with this is that, you know, your, your furniture really doesn't have to fit within those colours either. You know, yeah. in this beautiful setting, we've used hardwood. Yeah. You know, we've used quite a, a taupe rug there with yeah. um, really nice metallics. So there's so many elements that can come together. Yeah, because you could easily have like a grey couch. You could have more of a neutral couch. It doesn't need to um, be the colours that are in with, within the wallpaper, do you? No, and that's the beauty of it. So obviously you mentioned before that we've one of the perfectly partnered paints with our wallpaper is our colour of the year, Epoch. It is a slightly unusual name, Paul Oward. Where did we get that from? Um, because we've, we're 75 years old next year, um, we wanted to have a look at, and with the, the trends that we've had as well, with looking back in time, we wanted to just look at that piece of time that we've gone gone for. So that's where it's come from. An epoch is a is a, a piece of time. So we just thought we'd have that retrospective look and that's where we got the name from. And it's this gorgeous, like deep, opulent velvet colour. Uh, trends wise, where did we see that fitting in then? Definitely from the impulse trend, I think. Um, those rich, vibrant colours that we saw in the impulse trend. And also we saw the teals popping through there as well. And like you say, they are really nice and velvety and very, very opulent. So definitely fitting in on that trend. And again, Jodie, how would you style it? Which colours would you use it with? Would you kind of freshen it up or again, a bit more monochromatic? How would you, how would you do it? Um, definitely using most colours together, I would mm -hmm. say, you know, Paula, Paula, when she mentioned, you know, tonally, that's absolutely beautiful, but the shot of teal, shot of metallic, yeah. that's how I would go. I think also what's important to note with our colour of the year is our paint is 1% sheen level, which absorbs all the light and it gives it that really rich, velvety deepness mm -hmm. in the colour, doesn't yeah, it? And yeah. I think it's, it's really important for a rich colour to feel luxurious, would you say? Yeah, it's so dark and deep. 
it's just, you wouldn't, it's like it's not been painted at all, it's a colour yeah. on your wall. Yeah, exactly. And something else really exciting is happening this year, isn't it? We have a mural which has been developed alongside Wallpaper of the Year. Yep, we have Mural of the Year this year, uh, which is really exciting because, you know, we've been looking into uh, our bespoke murals. Yep. And the possibilities are endless, really. You know, it's like one big piece of art on your wall. There's no repeat and you can really customise it to whatever size your wall is. Um, and the other really cool thing about the murals is that they're printed with water-based inks, so they're uh -huh. eco-friendly. And of course, because they're customisable, they're print on demand. Uh, so you've got no waste. Exactly. Oh, yeah. that's brilliant. And, and with the repeat, you can have a, a really large scale piece of art, can't you? Yeah, it's like one big feature on your wall. Brilliant. So we've had um, a couple of questions sent in. And um, it's it's mostly around how to, where to start when decorating. You know, we've been spending a lot of time at home recently, haven't we? Um, but it can be quite a daunting task to start decorating, especially if you're trying to make over a whole room or a section of the house. Paul, where would you start in, in that process? Um, I always start with a mood board, whether it's from Pinterest or cutting and sticking your own bits from magazines bits of fabric you've got knocking around or bits of wallpaper that you like or paint chips. Yeah. So for me personally, I always like the touchy-feely kind of mood board that you More can do. Physical than, yeah, yeah, love getting dirty with that kind of thing <laughs> and just making it quite 3D and tactile. Yeah. So just taking key pieces that you're going to keep like furniture or curtains or flooring, just so you can keep the same kind of colour scheme so you're not going too crazy with that kind of thing. Fair. But yeah, that's where I'd start. And if we're looking at trends as we have been, it's all trend-led, what's, what's the big trend in the market? How would you, Jodie, bring trends into the home, into decor, you know, from maybe fashion or elsewhere? How would you do that? Well, like Paula says, a good place to start is to do a mood board. You know, if you've seen something in a shop mm -hmm. or if you've seen something online, you know, bring them together. But um, as well as trends, you know, it's just really important to bring your own personality into your home. Yeah, that's so true. I think if you if you love it, no matter how dramatic or how non-dramatic, you should just go for it. It also needs to work with the space as well, doesn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's important to think about what the function of the room is. You know, what's the vibe that you want in there? I think mm -hmm. bedroom you might want it more chilled and relaxed, and then the kitchen you might want a bit more vibrant. So that's another thing to, to think about too. Um, and then a last question from me. Where would you use our Wallpaper of the Year timepiece in the house, Paula? Um, well, an easy fix for me would be the bedroom because we've got that kind of colour scheme already. Um, but we've got kind of teal accents in our downstairs uh, living room. Oh, so it works yeah. really well, so, it? It really, so it's a good sneaky way of me getting purple in another room. <laughs> How about you, Jodie? Um, everywhere. <laughs> but if I really had to choose a room, it would be the living room. Yeah. And I've got my eye on having wallpaper on one wall, uh, colour of the year on two, and the mural on the other. Oh, so really going for it. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I'd personally go for it in my downstairs bathroom. I would use it on all four walls and the ceiling because I love a high impact downstairs bathroom. And it's got a really lovely, lustrous finish to it, so yes. it will reflect light and make your room bigger as well. Yeah, because some people would worry about making a room feel smaller but this paper Definitely just wouldn't not. do that no. would it well thank you for thank that you. lovely chat through this gorgeous wallpaper and color so thanks for joining us if you've got any comments or questions please feel free to send them in and andrew back to you well wasn't that fantastic a uh, real big thank you to the graham and brown team for giving us an insight into the design and color trends for next season and of course for sharing with us the very exciting uh, wallpaper of the year, uh, timepiece and, and the epoch, the colour of the year. Great job, guys. It's not been an easy year, has it? And i am been really impressed with how the team here at Graham and Brown have adapted uh, and, and been very innovative in the way that they've brought this event together. Uh, a big thank you to all of you from across the world for joining us. Uh, it's lovely to have you with us. It's been, a, it's been great. Uh, I hope to see you all uh, at some stage in the future in person. But in the meantime, all the best and thanks for joining us.